Hi guys, uh, this is just going to be a quick recap of how capacitors work in simple DC circuits. Um, this diagram is shamelessly pilfered from Dave's uh, PDF notes. If we were to, in a switch, connect these two points here, what would be the time constant for charging the capacitor? Like how long would it take to fully charge? Time constant is R times C and it takes five time constants to go from no charge at all to fully charged. So plugging that straight in, R is 100K ohms times a 100 microfarad capacitor, which is 10 seconds. Multiply that by five to get a steady state after 50 seconds. Okay, so after 50 seconds, this first capacitor now has a 10 volt drop across it, 10 volts. And there's no current flowing after 50 seconds. At zero seconds, the instant the switch is closed, current is flowing as if the capacitor was a short, as if it was a single wire. After the steady state time has elapsed, the 50 seconds, no current is flowing because there's now an equal voltage opposing what's being pushed from the power supply. So 10 volts on one side, 10 volts on the other, they cancel out and no current can flow. If after that 50 seconds we were then to connect the circuit like this, the capacitor at that same instant would still be it still had a 10 volt drop across it. Only in this case it would be opposed by a 20 volt power supply going in the opposite directions. There would be a difference between the power supply voltage and the capacitor voltage. So the capacitor would charge to reach, to equalize the voltage of the power supply. So doing the steady state uh, time constant calculation again, we have a new resistor of 150K times the same 100 microfarad capacitor. So let's just check it out. 150 exponent 3 multiplied by 100 exponent negative 6. That's the mu donation. That's 15 seconds. So 15 times 5, 75 seconds is steady state. So the instant the switch moved from the first position right here to now the second position right here, it takes 75 seconds from this new switch location to charge for the capacitor to charge up to 20 volts. So it took, if you remember, like this, it took 50 seconds for the capacitor to charge. Now switching from here to here with this new uh, wire connection, it takes an additional 75 seconds for the capacitor to charge up to 20 volts. So this new voltage across the capacitor will be 20 volts. Finally, if we were to connect from the point where we were at previously with the wire like that to now this new point where the wire is connecting these two points, the capacitors at the very start of this connection point, it's at 20 volts because it was charged previously to 20 volts. And at the instant the switch is now in this position, it remains at 20 volts the new time constant times five steady state time in that length of time it will discharge all of that voltage through the resistor so the instant this circuit is complete with the connection point being made there it will 
current will flow in this direction for this amount of time. So we can figure that out, 10k times 100 microfarads times 5, so 10 exponent 3 times 100 exponent negative 6 is 1 second, so the time constant in this new circuit variation is now 1 second, so it'll take 5 seconds for the capacitor to discharge. So the steady state, the final steady state of this new circuit configuration will occur after five seconds. Uh, interesting to think about what the current would be in reaching the steady state. What would it be the instant that this uh, circuit is closed? You can figure out figure it out by just remembering Ohm's law you know the voltage is 20 volts that's what the capacitor was charged to don't know I and the resistor is 10k so solving for I 20 over 10k is 2 milliamps so the current the instant this new circuit is closed will be 2 milliamps and as the capacitor is discharged that 2 milliamps will drop to zero after 5 seconds. So in this last circuit configuration you can see how it's similar to as if this capacitor was a power supply. Except it's not a power supply that delivers 20 volts infinitely, it delivers 20 volts in the first instant the circuit is closed and then dropping exponentially down after five seconds to zero current. So that was a brief look at capacitors and DC circuits when only caring about the instant a circuit is closed and after the steady state condition. Um, the next video is going to touch on a little about what happens in the intermediate time. So for instance in this uh, last example where it took five seconds for the capacitor to totally discharge its 20 volts uh, down to zero volts, pushing a current through the circuit for five seconds, a current that started at two milliamps and dropped down to zero. The next video is going to look at what the current might be at like four seconds or two seconds into that discharge. Is it possible to calculate the current at an intermediate time? And the next video is going to check that out. Stay tuned.